Welcome everybody for this video I'll be discussing and going over acetals serving as protecting groups. So let's get started with this topic. This should be pretty quick. Okay. So <clears throat> let's just say, for example, let's make up a scenario that we're in a laboratory, right? And we want to perform a Grignard reaction. So for example, let's just say we're starting off with this molecule over here draw as such okay so we have as you guys can tell a ketone and an aldehyde okay and let's just say we want to perform a Grignard reaction with the ketone only you we want to keep the aldehyde the same and uh, leave it unchanged okay but we all know if we perform a Grignard reaction and have starting off with this as a starting material both of these will change into the respect uh, excuse me to the reduced form to the alcohols so this is the product we're trying to form okay I'll draw it down here the product we're trying to form is this over here okay so this is the product we're trying to form. Okay, so that's something very important. Just keep this in your mind um, that this is our product, okay? So some of you guys may say to me or may draw uh, or work out and just say, why don't we just do a straight up uh, Grignard reaction um, and get our product, uh, H2O h plus workup but if we do this reaction the product of this will be this okay and if you guys are really confused of what's going on right now uh, about the Grignard reaction I suggest that you guys should go check that video out um, the video is called Grignard reaction and um, you could find it on my channel so definitely check that video out if you don't know what I'm talking about when I'm talking about Grignard reactions okay so if we did this reaction we will get this but remember we're not trying to get this we are trying to get this as our product keep the aldehyde unchanged right so this is where acetals come into come into the picture we need to protect the aldehyde and that is what the acetal does okay so let's start fresh um, I'll erase this and I'll draw this over again a little bit smaller okay so first thing we need to do if we want to form that product that I had drawn for you guys is again if you're starting off with this um, molecule right first thing you want to do it is perform an acetal reaction okay to form an acetal okay so we use again H plus and in this case when we're trying to protect a certain a functional group in this case the aldehyde we can use any type of alcohol because at the end we are going to regenerate the aldehyde so I'll just pick this simple primary um, alcohol and something that I forgot to mention to you guys when I started this new set of functional groups is that aldehydes are more reactive than ketones okay so if you provide the starting material with only one equivalent of this reagents for acetal formation your acetal will only form over here okay it will only form where the aldehyde is located so again if we provide the starting material with one equivalent of this reagents for acetal formation we will have to pick either between forming the acetal over here or over here since the aldehyde is more reactive we'll form the acetal over here okay so the product we form from this reaction is our acetal and we still have our ketone right now what we can do is perform the Grignard reaction and again the Grignard reaction cannot react with anything over here it reacts specifically now 
only with the ketone so I'll draw an arrow we'll draw actually this will be confusing but let's just draw it over here so again if we're starting off with this over here now right and we want to perform a Grignard reaction we can do that so again just keep in mind the product we wanted to form I draw it to I drew for you guys uh, before I erased it um, it was this these reagents we use MGBR um, H2O H plus workup right now we can perform the Grignard reaction specifically with the ketone as we had desired to start off with now what will happen is we will form our alcohol and we'll still have our acetal so we have our alcohol here and the 1,2 carbon chain hanging off there okay so that is what we form as a result of this reaction here so as you guys can see we still have the acetal and now we have our alcohol we have performed the Grignard reaction with our desired functional group the ketone now if you guys remember if you guys recall I told you guys about um, uh, acetal is being reversible process so now you can regenerate your aldehyde by doing H plus H2O reacting with this so again if um, okay so we have our alcohol here and then we have our two carbon chain and then we have our acetal here right now we could do the reverse reaction H plus H2O and now we can regenerate our aldehyde and we still have our alcohol and there you have it okay so again the product we wanted to form was this starting off with this okay if we have this we want to form this we have to do intermediate step we have to protect the aldehyde and we did that by uh, forming an acetal uh, we use enough of this acetal uh, reagents uh, one equivalent to be specific um, to react it with the aldehyde and as we all know now the aldehyde is more reactive than the ketone so if you provide these reagents to form one acetal okay just an acetal at either the aldehyde position or the ketone position since the aldehyde is more reactive we will form the acetal at the aldehyde position and that is exactly what we have done here we still have maintained our ketone now what we can do is do the Grignard reaction specifically with the ketone and form our alcohol while maintaining our acetal since the acetal is a reversible process uh, we can use H plus H2O to regenerate our aldehyde and is drawn as such and there you have it that is what acetal protecting uh, protection is